Welcome to this lab on the QuickSight service. So before we go on to the lab on seeing the QuickSight service, let's have an introduction. So quick understanding. So this is a business intelligent cloud service that's available in AWS. This is used to create and publish interactive dashboards. You can also give other users access to the reports in this QuickSight service. And the best part of the, about the service is that you only pay for what you use. Now, when you start using the QuickSight service, what you first have to do is that you have to create something known as a QuickSight account. Now, if you are only one user, then you can use QuickSight for free. So here you are the author and the user for the reports itself. So if you've used any other business intelligent reporting tool, this is similar to that. QuickSight is similar tool to that. So you can have multiple reports which can be shared with multiple users. But if you are only one person who just wants to see how the service works, you can try it out for free. So here you are the author and the user of the service itself. Now, if you want to share reports with others, you can create up to four users for free for 60 days. Now, again, please note that keep attuned with the AWS documentation to see if there are any changes on to these conditions for using QuickSight for free. Now, once you've gone ahead, you've created your QuickSight account. When you want to start using QuickSight, the first thing is to define your data source. So in order to create your reports, in order to create your analytics in QuickSight, you first have to get the data. So you first have to define what is your data source. So you can specify different types of data source in QuickSight from where you can get your data. So it could be a traditional database such as MySQL or Microsoft SQL Server. Or you can even pull off data from existing services such as AWS Aurora, S3 or Redshift. There are a number of services which have support has a data source in Amazon QuickSight. After you define your data source, we then use a inbuilt service which is known as Spice. Now, what exactly is Spice? So this is the in-memory optimized calculation engine that's available in QuickSight. So this underlying engine is just used to improve the optimization and performance of how the data gets imported onto AWS QuickSight and how it gets shown to the user. Now, by default, a free user gets 1 GB of Spice data and each paid user gets 10 GB of Spice data. We are actually going to see this when we go into our lab on using Amazon QuickSight. Now, after getting your data, next is the visualization. So you can start visualizing your data and you can start creating dashboards. So let's go on to AWS. Let's see how we can start using the QuickSight service. So here we are in the AWS console. Now let's go on and search for AWS QuickSight. So let's choose the service. So the first thing it's going to say that we need to first sign up for our AWS account for the QuickSight service. So let me go ahead and sign up for QuickSight. Over here, you have two options available. You have the standard and the enterprise. So here you can see that what we mentioned in our slides that the first author or the first free user gets one GB of Spice data. So remember this is important. Your data gets imported onto that Spice engine. We then have a team trial for 60 days where you have up to four authors. After that, in either the standard or the enterprise, you have additional options available. I'm going to go ahead and choose on standard and then click on continue. Now it will ask us to enter an account name. It will ask us to give a notification email address. We have our region in place. I'll enable the default region. I'll enable all of the other default settings. And let me go ahead and click on finish. So now it's going ahead and creating our QuickSight account. Now, once you set up your AWS QuickSight account, and once you've logged into the account, you can first go on to manage data. So first you can define your data sets. So let's click a new data set. So over here, you can see that you can connect from various resources. 
So the, either you could upload a file or maybe you have something in S3 or maybe in another AWS service. On the right hand side, you can see the amount of data that you have, the amount of spice capacity. Remember, this is only linked to the North Virginia region. If you change the region, you will not have any spice data capacity for that particular region. So remember to create your AWS account in the region where you have your resources. Now, let me go ahead and upload a simple CSV file. So it's uploading the file. Now over here, it's showing a preview of the data. So I just have three columns and I have some rows as part of that CSV file. Let me go ahead and edit the settings and prepare the data. So I just want to give meaningful names to the columns. Click on apply. Let me enter this as progress. And let me enter this as course name. You can see automatically it's picked up what should be the data type based on the data it's picked up. Now let me go ahead and click on save and visualize. So now that we've got our data set in place, we can actually visualize the data. Now you have your fields over here. You also have your visual types. You have different visual types in place. So now let me go ahead and click on a graph. Now let me go ahead and add a dimension. So I'll add the username. And let me go ahead and add the progress as a measure. So here I can see the progress of each user in terms of how much they have completed. So you have different visualizations over here. You can choose the chart which you want. And you can see the graph based on the dimension and the measure. So in QuickSight, you can go ahead, you can get your data and you can visualize the data. So this marks the end of this lab. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success certified.